I'm going to assume that you already know how to multiply complex numbers when they're in rectangular form, but how do you multiply them when they're in trigonometric form? Let's start with two general complex numbers, z1 and z2. z1 is r times cosine alpha plus i sine alpha, and z2 is s times cosine beta plus i sine beta. So r and s are the moduli of the two numbers, remember the absolute value. Alpha and beta are the arguments. Let's multiply these two. Z1 times Z2 is R times cosine alpha plus I sine alpha times S times cosine beta plus I sine beta. <clears throat> I'm going to collect the two moduli out in front, R times S. And then these two guys, I have to multiply together. So I'm going to get cosine alpha cosine beta. And notice, when I multiply one of the i terms with a non-i term, I'm going to have an i in the answer. But when I multiply the i terms together, these two guys, I'm going to get plus i squared sine alpha sine beta. That'll end up being real. So I'll put it in the front. And then we've got i sine alpha cosine beta. plus i cosine alpha sine beta. And that's our product. Now, this is going to be cosine alpha cosine beta. And i squared is negative 1. So this is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Hopefully that looks familiar to you. I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. And then let me pull the i out. That sounds painful. Um, pull the i out, and I get sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. Sine cosine cosine sine. Yes, what are, what are these expressions here? Cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta is the cosine of alpha plus beta. Right, the cosine of a sum formula. And sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta, that's the sine of alpha plus beta. Don't forget the i. So i times the sine of alpha plus beta. So this is actually how you multiply two complex numbers in trig form. You take their moduli and you multiply them. You take their arguments and you add them. It's as simple as that. So don't forget to multiply two complex numbers, multiply their moduli, and add their arguments. This is one of the reasons that we like trigonometric form. It's much easier to multiply, and it turns out to divide in trig form than in rectangular form.